Hey y'all, this is John Quill. I know I haven't been on here for a long time. Um, in the last video I made, I believe it was about me fasting. Okay, well let me just tell y'all this. So, on my second day of my fast, um, you know, God gave me an idea to write a book. So actually I was working on a book for children and i had never published the book so on the second day of my fast he had given me some ideas and immediately i started writing the ideas down and i finally i published the book so this is my book it's for children it's on amazon uh it's me and my jesus rhyme scripture prayers and affirmations for kids it's very encouraging and you can get the book on amazon um i included you know some uh some things to encourage them along uh, uh, as well as some little fun games and puzzles you know uh and it's it can be for adults too you know but it's you know based for the children you know god has called me to the children you know and i just wanted to quickly read uh something to you all how it relates to in the bible so this is about baby moses so this was my book that i was working on with the children's story so i want to read you a quick story um and it's called baby moses saved an egyptian king by the name of pharaoh gave order for any baby boy that was to be born to be thrown in the Nile River. He wanted this to be done because at the time there were more Hebrew people than Egyptians. They were stronger too. The king was afraid that one day the Hebrew people would fight against the Egyptians and escape. He wanted to make a plan so the Hebrew Hebrews would not grow anymore. He decided that he wanted all of the baby boys to die. A man and a woman from a tribe named Levi got or Levi got married and had a baby got married excuse me and had a baby the mother hid her baby for three months she knew that her baby was special after three months she could not hide her baby any longer so she placed him in a basket in the grass along the Nile River Pharaoh's daughter the princess saw him in a basket the baby was crying and she felt sorry for him the baby's sister saw what was going on and ran down and asked the princess if she could, if she should go get a Hebrew woman to feed him. So the baby's sister went to get her mom to feed her brother. The princess did not know who she was and that the woman was really the baby's mom. The mother took the baby boy home. The princess also paid her to feed her own baby. When he grew older, his mother brought him back to the princess who lived in Egypt, and she adopted him and named him Moses. So you see, Moses was saved. And later on, Moses saved the slaves. You know, he slaved the he saved the slaves from Egypt. So, you know, resulting in a baby, you know, he was a child and you know, he was saved to do this task that God called him to do. So you see how important it is for our children. Our children are our next leaders. You know, they are very important. So that's why I'm here to encourage the children. Um, I'm also um, working on another YouTube for children, you know, so they can be able to uh, look at these uh cartoons uh, regarding the Bible stories, you know, to make it fun and also learning, you know, so they can know their history. They can know, you know, about these stories that are in the Bible, you know. So I also wanted to share another thing uh, with you, you know, regarding fasting. So I have a story in here about uh, fasting. I just have to get to it really quick. So just kind of hang with me really quick i hope my video stays on i'm lord's willing so let me just get to this quick little chapter um and this one is also this one is about fasting you know so it is important you know for uh us as adults to fast you know when we're seeking something so i want to read this quick little story to you it's called, uh, let me get to it really quick. 
you know when you're looking for something it, it never it never goes that way okay so this one is called uh, boys trained to be stronger the king's chief of staff was ordered to bring men who were brought to Babylon as captives he had to pick strong healthy and good-looking men they had to be gifted with knowledge have good judgment and suitable to serve in the royal palace the king assigned them food from his own kitchens including wine these men had to be trained for three years before the king made his final choice there were four men chosen from the tribe of Judah. Their names were changed to Babylonian names. Daniel's name was Belteshazzar. Hanina was Shadrach. Misha was Meshach. And Azara was called Abednego. Daniel did not want to eat the foods and wine that the king wanted them to eat during the training. The chief understood how Daniel felt because God allowed him to have affection towards Daniel. The chief also felt that if they did not eat the foods that were ordered by the king and they became they and they became became pale and skinny the king would want to kill him for not following his orders daniel spoke to the attendant that was assigned to him and the three other boys to ask to test them to see if they would be stronger by eating vegetables and drinking water for 10 days he wanted him to compare them to the other men who had been eating the unhealthy foods the attendant agreed to daniel's request after 10 days they did they did look healthier than the other men from that day on that was all they ate and god gave them understanding and wisdom and Daniel was able to tell the meaning of dreams and visions. After the training period was over, Daniel and the other three men impressed the king the most and they were entered into the royal service. Whenever the king asked for their help regarding judgment and wisdom, he found them ten times more capable than any magician and enchanter in his entire kingdom. You can find that in Daniel 1, 1 through 21. And I also want to tell you a story about a woman. This is about faith. Because uh, in James 2.17, it says, Faith without works is dead. So me coming out here telling you about the book for children that I created. Um, faith without works is dead. I have the book, but I have to do the works by telling the world about this awesome book that God gave me. Because he definitely did give it to me. Um, so I also want to tell you a quick story about faith faith all right so in this story let's see Luke it's in Luke 8 43 through 48 I'm reading in the King James Version uh, it says now a woman having a flow of blood for 12 years who has spent all her livelihood on physicians that could not be healed by any came from behind and touched the border of his garment. She was talking about, we we're talking about Jesus. And immediately her flow of blood stopped. Immediately. And Jesus said, who touched me? When all denied denied it, Peter and those with him said, Master, the multitude strong impress, impress you. And you say, who touched me? But Jesus said, somebody touched me, for I perceived power going out from me. Now when the woman saw that, she was not hidden. She came trembling and falling down before him. She declared to him in the presence of all the people the reason she had touched him and how she was healed immediately. And he said to her, daughter, be of good cheer. Your faith has made you well. Go in peace. So I just want to tell you this. It wasn't that she touched the garment. It was her face. It was her face. That's, that's what healed her. She immediately was healed. I mean, the blood stopped. Okay? And she fell down to her knees, um, you know, after that. She felt unwanted. And Jesus immediately called her daughter, showed her love, you know, showed her care. Uh, you know, back then, this was something that... If you, if someone touched somebody that, you know, had an issue with blood, they had to be cleansed. They had to go away for some days. But uh, Jesus, you know, he is our healer. And, you know, when when it's through uh, Jesus, you know, you, you are clean. You you know, you're made clean. And he, he healed her. So I just wanted to give you qu quickly that information, you know, because this book, you know, it has something so many ways having to do with the Bible, you know, and I just wanted to show you how it related. Um, and, you know, I just wanted to let you all know that I was working on something for the children, you know, because it's, it's also something in, uh, in the Bible 
it well also i have a little story uh really quick if i can get to this chapter about the children um it's called jesus loves the children and then i'll be ending my video here you know i miss y'all i'm so happy to uh, you know be here and talk briefly to you i had to get on this video this one is called jesus loved the children one day there were some children who were brought to jesus by their parents the disciples did not want them to bother him and he was angry with his disciples jesus did not feel like he was being bothered by them he told them let the children come to me don't stop them for the kingdom of god belongs to those who are like these little children i tell you the truth anyone who doesn't receive the kingdom of god like a child will never enter it jesus took those kids in his arms and placed his hands on their heads and began to bless bless them one day jesus uh one day jesus disciple asked him who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven jesus called a child over and put the child in front of them and said i tell you the truth unless you turn from your sins and become like little children you will never get into the kingdom of heaven so anyone who becomes as humble as as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven so you know that's in uh matthew 18 1 and 4 mark 9 33 through 37 and mark 10 13 through 16. so we have to become like little children you know little children are innocent you know we we have to be more like him that's how more like them that's how important they are so if like i said if you're interested in my book you can go to amazon you can either look it up by the title me and my jesus rhyme scripture prayers and affirmations for kids by john quill davis jones or you can just look up my name um i hope y'all really enjoy this video and enjoy the book as well um it was so fun creating it and without god's help i couldn't have did it without him um so you know y'all stay faithful be encouraged and i love y'all and like i said i'll be coming out with a uh page for you know for children little cartoons so if you have children grandchildren great grandchildren you know show them you know because they need to be encouraged at an early age it's too much going on in the world um they need jesus as early as possible um so i love y'all and have a wonderful and blessed day bye